is a burning thing And it makes a fiery ring uh, Egham Athletic TV here with um, three of uh, the integral cogs in the Egham Athletic uh, steam train as it rolls on to a, another, another victory, uh, hard fought and uh, a little bit nip and tuck in the end, um, manager away. Uh, we'll go to the uh, returning captain who's not paying attention. Um, after your debauchery in uh, Paris, uh, first of all, lucky to get back in the team? Well, first of all, there was none of that going on in Paris, I'll tell you. Um, yeah, I probably was lucky to get back in the team, I suppose. Dolly had a good game, I heard. Um, you know, despite having a little face fungus, you've done all right. Clean sheet's a clean sheet, and we obviously couldn't keep one today, so... Can't change your one or two, mate. Talking of uh, talking of changing team, uh, the, the two fellas next to you uh, obviously were in the uh, the side last week. Uh, Daz, difference between this week and last week? What, what did you think uh, was the difference? We we were a little bit slow at the traps today. <laughs> um, Steve being at the back, he's obviously a luxury player. He just he just keep quite into it. I thought it was a slow start for everyone, but particularly him. Uh, I'm probably going to get fined for this. I'm <laughs> Very careful, T- talking of fines, Ferry, uh, you were quite critical. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you were quite critical of the fine master. Um, do you feel that uh, the the, res- the the result, uh, you know, let, free, really. letting in a couple of goals? Um, do you think that there were any fines uh, due from from the actual game? Anyone not put, pulling their weight? I don't know. I, I'm not one of those players, you know, that like to criticise his teammates, especially when his teammate has the fines and he's tapping on it right now. Uh, Big Brother is always watching, but uh, no, I don't think you want to be given fines for mistakes in a match, even though the defence made quite a lot today. Uh, well, Stewie, obviously you are you are just behind that defence. Um, their first goal, uh, poor, poor, weak-handed from the keeper, or a good strike? Your your opinion? Oh, I thought both. I mean, he took me by surprise a little bit. I mean, he hasn't really got any ability in that bloke, and he hit a really good, good shot. It's good strike. To be fair, um, that was like your hand. <laughs> I got a good hand on it and I expected to have saved it. I was a little surprised I didn't. But like I said, he took me by surprise because he's not really very good that bloke. Um, but he hit it nice and early and, you know, fair play, he could go. Can and happen, we can let him go. And Darren, your, uh, your opinion at the back for, from your, your point of view, penalty or no penalty? Didn't see it. Penalty. I'll be honest, I didn't see it. Uh, Leighton says it was innocuous and just didn't. So Leighton says not curious. Leighton's a farmer. It was a, I thought it was a foul. It was a penalty. Was Would you be saying the same thing if we'd have lost you? Well, probably, because it was a foul. Okay. You know, I'm honest, as the day is long, Paul. It was Go, a foul. On, on that note, going to the opposite end of the spectrum, Ferry. Um, we, obviously, uh, we obviously have high aspirations as a team, but um, what do you feel was the difference today? Because it definitely wasn't one of the strongest performances. Uh, what do you see as the, uh, the issues this week? Um, it's a good test. good test of our resolve, which... We showed some time to actually produce some. Uh, no, they put it up to us today, but no thanks. Peanuts, thanks. <laughs> uh, I forgot what I was saying. Though. Well, that, it, was, yeah, it, was, it was a goal straight after half time. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was a poor first start. Mm. Maybe not a bit that. We created chances, but. That goes straight after time. Well, Gareth has been talking about his three assists in the game, and um, one assist that I think you're trying to take credit for, Stu, was a uh, good tactical now for, for making the change, yeah? Definitely. I mean, me and Powers discussed it at half time, and uh, truth be told, Greg said take someone off now and bring Russ on at half time, but it's not going to be <coughs> Greg, despite what he thinks. Um, was so he just worried that he was going to be taken? Maybe, I don't know. But, um, sure, so. Yeah, I think he was. <laughs> Um, but you know, we give it five minutes, you know, the standard, and uh, put Dolly off, and Russ come on, second touch, I think he banged it in. So, you know, management lark's pretty easy. A telltale sign of when he's shitting himself in the pitch is when he slates everyone in the pitch. <laughs> yeah. Like during the match. That, that's quite regular. Yeah. Yeah, the that's your words. Well, right? your words. Anyone else see that? Yeah. Um, so, breaking, breaking from tradition slightly. Um, the, the man of the match is sat on the couch, so it's one of you three. Well, well done. I'll probably rule you out, Stuart, because obviously yeah. you were at fault for one of the goals, apparently. You've just admitted it to yourself. Um, but uh, as captain, if you'd like to award uh, the man of the match uh, that has been chosen by uh, the management committee, which does involve, obviously, Andrew and you uh, and the chairman, uh, to the man on your left, uh, Mr. Dan Brown. Uh, there is a, a lovely bottle down there. I'd like to point out I haven't got man of the match yet. Bullshit. Well, to make up for that, Martin, uh, you, do, you're <laughs> you do have the uh, the honour 
of uh, yeah. nominating the, <laughs> the Fez. Uh, so <laughs> the floor is yours. You should say that because somebody just called me shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I was very reluctant to give him the Fez, even though he did warrant it with his first booking ever. As did you. Uh, <laughs> Don't try and get away with it. Now that he's just recently called me shit on live TV, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to give it to Mr. David Risk. Angry Dave. Uh, well, if you, if you want to go off and do that, and uh, we'll, well, we'll see you next time. Oh. by saying that a wise man once said that a flute without any holes is not a flute, but a donut without any holes is a Danish. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was kung fu fighting. Those kids were fast as lightning. In fact, it was a little bit frightening. But they fought with.